Oh, hi there, everybody. Doesn't Emma Watson look totally cute with short hair? I'm really looking forward to this perks for being a wallflower. Um, not only because the director of the film is also the author of the book that it's based on, but uh, American. She's doing an American accent, and she looks darn good with her short hair. Um, so this is the fall uh, movie preview issue of Entertainment Weekly. I got it about a month ago. Um, actually covers everything uh, through uh, Christmas. Um, and uh, although the release dates won't necessarily be consistent between here in the States and the UK and the other parts of the world that uh, people watch uh, my videos in, um, I want to talk a little bit about some of the uh, films I'm looking forward to seeing. Before I do, I first wanted to recommend that you check out a video uh, by Ben, a guy I really like here on YouTube. His um, channel is BMLR Productions, and I will put a link to that video. He covered a lot of the big, major, highly anticipated releases uh, very, very nicely. So I thought instead I would skip talking about all those movies like everyone else is doing, and just go for the uh, smaller uh, ones, the uh, ones that are kind of uh, lower profile, uh, that maybe don't have as much attention uh, on them. Uh, before I do, though, I just wanted to say some of the movies that he mentioned that I'm really looking forward to, Looper, Cloud Atlas, Seven Psychopaths, that looks hilarious, the um, anthology horror movie VHS, Wreck-It Ralph, Skyfall, Flight, Lincoln, Rust and Bone, The Impossible, Django Unchained, of course, Zero Dark Thirty, which is about, you know, hunting down Bin Laden, uh, and uh, Les Miserables. Now, Tom Hooper did the King's Speech as the director of this new version of Les Miserables, which is actually done from the musical, and I've never actually seen the musical on stage, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. And, of course, The Master, obviously, that's coming out in a couple of days. Um, so check out this video. I'll give you a lot more details on, on, some, of those, uh, on some of those films. Although, I have to say, Ben... No Breaking Dawn Part 2? You're not looking forward to that? What's the matter with you, huh? What's the world coming to? Um, so anyway, here are some lower profile, smaller movies that you might not be aware of. The first of which is called Branded. Um, this actually came out almost two weeks ago here in Chicago and is probably already gone by the time you watch this. Um, it's uh, got a few American actors in it, so it's, it's uh, in English for the most part, but it's actually a Russian production set in Moscow. And the main character is a guy um, working for an advertising agency that's also a front for the CIA. Well, many plot and story convolutions later, he goes out in the middle of nowhere, spends some time on a farm, and then performs a ritual in which he sacrifices a cow and then dumps its blood and some other stuff all over him, and then begins to hallucinate and have visions of corporate... Uh, 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 logos and corporate advertising becoming like incredible beasts and flying through the air over Moscow and attacking each other and fighting each other. I saw the trailer in which this Coke bottle mounted on the side of a building sprouts arms and legs and then starts crawling all over the place and attacking things and things flying in the sky. I'm like, this movie is nuts. This movie is crazy. I have to see it. So I went to see it last week and uh, I can't say I recommend it fully because there's a lot of stuff that happens and and people do things that really don't have good explanations for, but um, it's a unique experience, that's for sure. So it might be something that you're interested in. Um, then I'd like to uh, talk about The Oranges. The Oranges is a comedy um, involving two couples uh, in suburbia. One of them is played by um, Oliver Platt and Allison Janney. The other is played by Hugh Laurie and Catherine Keener. And uh, Oliver Platt and Allison Janney have a daughter played by Leighton Meester, who begins having an affair with Hugh Laurie, and uh, that creates all sorts of complications. Also, Adam Brody is in the cast as well. It's a really, really good cast and looks pretty funny. Um, so I'll be interested in that. Then there's a movie called Smashed, and uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who's a terrific actress, um, plays a, kind of a party girl. Um, she drinks a lot, she does wild things, and at one point she says, okay, enough's enough, and I have to go gold. Uh, go cold turkey and, and try and sober up and get my life together. Uh, Octavia Spencer is in the movie as well as Megan Mullally and also her husband is played by the guy from Breaking Bad, the younger guy uh, uh, from Breaking Bad. I don't remember his name, but uh, that, look, that could be interesting as well. There's another comedy called Butter, uh, which takes place in a suburban Midwest town and everyone there is really into the whole butter carving competition thing. That's a thing, apparently. Um, Olivia Wilde and Jennifer Garner are the leads. Uh, Hugh Jackman is in it as well. Could be funny, so I'm interested in that. 
and also if you're a fan of Olivia Wilde, and let's face it, who isn't, um, she's also in a thriller called Deadfall. Not to be confused with the really, 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 really terrible Nicolas Cage movie from the 90s called Deadfall. That's just amateur 100% of the time. This movie is about Olivia Wilde and Eric Bana. And they're a couple, and they pull this heist, get a whole bunch of money, but then they have to kill a cop. Uh, so they decide to split up and rendezvous days or weeks later uh, before they make their big getaway. And so there's a lot of, each of them has their own stuff to deal with and their own complications uh, as they're uh, making their way to the rendezvous point. That looks exciting. I, I'm interested in that one. Um, then there's a film called Nobody Walks, another sort of drama with comedy overtones. Um, John Krasinski and um, Rosemary DeWitt. Rosemary DeWitt was in Rachel Getting Married. Uh, they're a married couple, and they take in um, a young college student. I guess she's like a family friend or something like that. She's working on a student film, and she's you know experimenting with a sound mix or whatever. This is what I get from the trailer. Uh, she's played by Olivia Thrillby, who was um, Ellen Page's best friend in Juno. Incidentally, I haven't seen Ellen Page in a movie in quite a while. I wonder what she's doing right now. Um, but... Uh, uh, there's there's some complications there because uh, she's a very sort of lively, uh, pretty person, and uh, John Krasinski starts to uh, have a thing for her. Um, the movie wasn't directed by Lena Dunham, but it was written by her. If you're not familiar with Lena Dunham, uh, she um, starred in and wrote and directed uh, in a series for HBO called Girls, which was on a couple of months ago. She was also the writer director star of a film called Tiny Furniture. Uh, and she has, on that DVD, she's got another film she did basically as a student, just like with her flip camera, basically, whole feature film with her flip camera, just uh, in her spare time when she was in college. So I've seen like her entire filmography within the space of just a couple of months. Um, anyway, she wrote the script, so I, I'll be interested in taking a look at that. <clears throat> then there's a really wacky looking comedy called The Details. Uh, Tobey Maguire uh, is married to Elizabeth Banks, but he not only has an affair with Ray Liotta's wife, who's played by Laura Linney, but he also has an affair with Dennis Haysbird's wife. Or maybe it's his daughter. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, the trailer looks kind of crazy. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that, that, that looks interesting. And then there's um, another uh, comedy drama called Holloway Must Be Going. Uh, and the star of this is Melanie Linsky. I really like Melanie Linsky a lot. Uh, she's really, really sweet, adorable, cute, really good actress as well. Um, she's uh, in her mid-30s. She just got divorced, so she's living with her parents again. She begins having a relationship with like a 19-year-old. Um, it looks like it could be good. Uh, I, I just like her a lot, so I'll be very interested in checking that out. Now, most of these movies I've been talking about, I really don't know much about the directors. Uh, most of them, I haven't heard of them, don't know anything about them, really. But these last two, I, I'm more familiar with the directors. Uh, David O. Russell, of course, is um, the guy who did The Fighter, which was nominated for Best Picture a couple years ago. And he also did Three Kings uh, and um, I Love Huckabees. I refuse to call that movie I Heart Huckabees. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but he is, a direct, he is the director of a movie called The Silver Linings Playbook. And Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence are the stars. They have both had sort of mental institution uh, 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 residencies uh, recently. And so they start hanging out with each other, and there's a possible romance there. And Bradley Cooper's father is played by Robert De Niro, who wants him to, like, straighten up and just be regular or whatever. <laughs> be normal, you know. Don't be crazy anymore. Be normal, that kind of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, David Russell's a really good director, so uh, that'll, be, uh, that'll be interesting. And uh, finally, um, On the Road, which is an adaptation of the Jack Kerouac book, uh, and it's directed by Walter Salas, who did the Motorcycle Diaries. And the stars are uh, Sam Riley, plays essentially the Kerouac character, and uh, uh, Garrett Hedlund, who is in Tron Legacy, and uh, Country Strong. He's um, uh, a guy, basically, uh, he's married to Kristen Stewart, and the three of them take this big road trip together. They come across a whole bunch of different people. Um, Kirsten Dunst, Elizabeth Moss, Amy Adams, um, Viggo Mortensen, a few other people. Um, looks kind of wild, actually. It looks looks uh, fun, but it's uh, again, it's um, something that's got kind of mixed reviews uh, for being very episodic. But by its nature, it's a road movie, so those are those tend to be episodic. But it looks very interesting. So um, those are a few of the films that I'm looking forward to. And as I mentioned, some of these trailers that I've seen. So I've got links to every one of those trailers in the description below. You can uh, look at Ben's video. Uh, the link is down there, but also each of the trailers that I found on YouTube for all of those movies. So you can take a look at for them for yourself. A few more below-the-radar type productions. Who knows? Some of them might be excellent uh, and best picture material. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and uh, 
let me know what you're looking forward to. Uh, big stuff, small stuff, whatever. I'd like to know about it. So uh, thanks again. See you again real soon.